You done? You good? <laughs> I've had to stop this like four times already. Okay guys, welcome back. Today I thought I'd share with you another one of my favorite one skillet meals, um, homemade hamburger helper. And I like to use game meat, but you can use any kind of ground meat. You can use chicken, beef, turkey, I mean anything. Um, sausage, I've even done that before. Um, and this is another one of those meals where like, if you don't have a lot of meat, you can just add more pasta, or you could even add in like some leftover rice at the end or something like that, add a little more veggies. So you can play around with it. Um, you don't have to follow the ingredients to the tea. Obviously, I mean, I don't really, I just kind of throw it all together, but. All right, so let's get this started. So I got my skillet on about medium heat, and I'm just gonna add a drizzle of bear grease. You can use oil, butter, whatever you got. Then here I'm gonna add a pound of uh, ground deer. And I'm also going to add a small onion, diced. Just going to put a lid on that, let that brown up, stir it occasionally. Um, this lid doesn't go with my skillet. Uh, I actually took it off the top of my big uh, stock pot. If you don't have a lid that fits your skillet, you could also use just a cookie sheet, which is what I used for a long time until I got that stock pot. So, and that's a 12 inch skillet, by the way. All right, that's just about ready to add the pasta and the seasonings and stuff. Mom. What, babe? I need to All right, so this is about ready to add the pasta and the seasonings and stuff. Uh, but first, little secret. I don't drain the meat. Maybe that's really bad, but that's where all the flavor is. Don't. Don't throw out your flavor. All that grease, that ain't gonna hurt you. It'll just stick to your ribs. Just work a little harder, that's all. All right, let's add the pasta. Okay, Mom. So now I'm gonna, just a minute, love. Now I'm gonna add three cups of small shells. Oh. One and a half cups of water. Three cups of milk. About a half cup of frozen peas, just so I can say there's a veggie in there and call her a meal. You can add whatever you want. You can skip them, just have it with like a salad or just have it on its own or whatever, but that just makes me feel better. There's something green in there. Now we've got a medley of spices. There is seasoned salt, black pepper, oregano, parsley, garlic powder, chili powder, Paprika, if I didn't already say that. I will put the full uh, recipe as close as I can get it down in the description below for you guys. Now I'm just gonna carefully stir this. I'm actually gonna turn that up a little bit. Just till it starts to simmer and then I'm gonna turn this down. Um, I'm gonna let it simmer with the cover on. And this will take roughly 10 minutes or so. Just stir it occasionally, adjust the heat as you need to. I mean, it's not rocket science, so. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Um, the pasta is done. I'll show you. All right, now I'm gonna add some uh, shredded cheddar. Uh, it's probably like two and a half cups. Last time I made this, I just had a modge podge of cheese. I had um, I had a little bit of mozzarella, a little bit of cheddar. Um, I had some 
Parmesan and like one slice of American cheese. So you just use this to, it's a good chance to use up some more odds and ends of stuff. It all comes out fine. Turn the heat off. All right, just get this all stirred in. All right, let's dip this up. That looks so good. It is good, it smells great. It's one of my, uh, one of my favorite skillet meals. Oh yeah. There she is. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe video. Um, stay tuned for a little story time if you're interested. And uh, catch you later. This is Coca. Oh, is your little Coca? Don't you bite me. So this is Coca. Um, Charlene named him. I asked her, I said, what's his name? She says, hmm, Coca. I went, okay. <laughs> Always washing his little face. So, we did not get a mouse at the pet shop. What happened was, last week, um, I believe it was Wednesday, I got up in the morning and I had caught a mouse in the mouse trap. First one we caught in a while. And um, I was like, good, all right, we got rid of that. So Wednesday morning, caught a mouse in the mouse trap. Thursday morning, I get up. And I go in the bathroom, and there is a baby mouse on the floor. And if I find the picture, I'll put it in here. But I honestly, when I, when I first saw it, like I turned the light on, and there it was. I was like, oh, man. I thought it was dead. So evidently, I'm guessing it was Mama that we caught the day before. So there he was, laying there, barely breathing. And, um, so I picked him up, and I was feeding him with a Q-tip. I'd dip a Q-tip in warm milk, and I'd feed him, like, every two hours. His eyes were almost open, but not quite. So about every two to three hours, I would dip a Q-tip in warm milk and feed him. And, um, put him in a little cardboard box with uh, one of those little hand warmers and then Friday morning Jackson found two more baby mice outside the bathroom doors like they had um, kind of wandered around their eyes weren't open and one of them didn't last long after we found it and then the other one he probably only lived about half a day. It was just too late for those guys. They'd been like another whole day without any care. I was just like, all right, so starting a, you know, a mouse, baby mouse daycare really wasn't on my list of things to do. <laughs> but I couldn't just kill it. Like, yeah, I don't want mice in the house, but I couldn't just kill him because, I mean, it's a baby. <laughs> Just a little baby and he didn't have a mama. <laughs> I'm a sucker, I know. So, and we have Coca. I told Joe, because he came home Friday night and we showed him the mice. And I said, I whispered it to him so the kids wouldn't hear me, but I said, if you find any more, please just get rid of them and don't tell me. <laughs> Because, I mean, the reality is, I don't want them in the house running around, of course. Because they can cause a lot of damage. But, I can't just kill baby. 
I'm a sucker. Um, so I guess he's a pet for now. And uh, the kids love him. He's getting pretty active now. He's probably... I don't know. He's probably like th three weeks old, maybe? He just opened his eyes a couple days ago, so... He can't be that old. Three weeks, maybe? No more than... Yeah, he's probably almost three weeks old, I guess. So anyway, we have a little coca. And yeah, we all we all wash our hands after we're done handling him too, of course. I mean, he's a wild animal and we don't know. Oh. I know you hear him squeaking, don't you? So that's that story. So we currently have a new member of the family. <laughs> So yeah, that's just the little story of the day. He's really cute. Oh. He's probably gonna go right up my sleeve. Little Coca. Alright guys. Thank you for hanging out with me today. <laughs> and we will catch you on the next one. <laughs>